At this time of year, the sun is starting to warm again. You can feel it on your face. It burns through the, the, the water paint on my face, I can tell you that. It's changed. The heat in it has changed. Life is on the move again. But life means encouraging. And that was what the purpose of a wassail is. Was and is to this day. So this is the modern take on it. Many years ago, I would have asked, had to have asked a vicar to do this. Today, I am free in my own country to do something that is pertinent to the, to the season and the time. To the north, I honour the soil in which each of these trees stands and grows. The soil from which this cider has sprung not more than 12 miles from here. To the east, I honour the air that bears the insects that carry the pollen and also carries the pollen in some instances without the aid of the insects. And also the bee, who is another of our favourite brewing factories when it comes to, uh, comes to the creation of mead. And to the south, I honour the fire of the sun, the heat and the energy that during the course of the year will help these trees grow. But that is also to say, not without the aid of the west, from whence, <laughs> from whence the rain will come to add into this deep rich soil of Charlwood. And at the same time, let us honour the spirit of these trees. And in doing so, you will see that around each of these trees, each of these trees has a token attached to them. I'm told, on good authority, it contains cider. And you would be failing in your duty if you drink. And I honour those who do not. If you drink, you'll be failing in your duty to not help in the process by imbibing this and honouring the whole process that has led from a seed to liquid, to life, and life again.